Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Red Bank Catholic is being brought to you by Pliables of Red Bank. One of the marquee matchups from the Autism Awareness Challenge, Red Bank Catholic facing New Jersey's top ranked team, the Del Barton Green Wave. Oh man, Del Barton is loaded with talent. Top of the first man on for Anthony Volpe, committed to Vanderbilt, this one to right field, it's a goner. A two run homer for Volpe, he played on the U.S. under 18 national team, the start of many Volpe highlights on JSZ this spring, it's 2-0 Green Wave. Meanwhile, Jack Leiter played with Volpe on Team USA, and he's considered one of the top high school prospects in the 2019 MLB Draft. The scouts were out in full force for Leiter's second start of his senior season, the first in New Jersey. And you can see why MLB.com has Leiter as the number 20 prospect. His curveball is simply devastating. Take another look at this one. It drops off the table. Two strikeouts for Jack Leiter in the first. Top of the second, Mark Daracci with a nice piece of hitting here. He goes the opposite way for a base hit to right. The RBI single gives Del Barton a 3 0 lead. Hey, Leiter's curveball is awesome, but don't forget about the heat. He touched 96 on the gun and threw consistently in the 90s. Vin Bianchi's on his way to St. John's. The RBC starter settled down nicely. He throws in the low 90s. The curveball here ends the top of the third. RBC was able to get to lighter. The Caseys load the bases in the fourth, but the righty bears down. Back to back strikeouts. This is strikeout number seven, and it stays a 3 0 game. In the fourth, a balk gave Del Barton a 4 0 advantage, and it extended the inning. This is Sean Rapp taking flight. Committed to the North Carolina Tar Heels, this is a three run bomb. Rap makes it a 7-0 green wave advantage. Give a ton of credit to RBC. They were able to hit one of the best pitchers in the high school ranks. Shane Panzini hits the ball hard, and it can't be caught in deep center. Jack Scrivenick comes home, and the Caseys are on the board. It's a 7-1 game. Leiter would settle down, get two more strikeouts. His velocity didn't drop out throughout his 93 pitches. Nine strikeouts through four. Top five. Durachi comes through again. This is a smash to short. Nick McLaughlin slides in to make it an 8-1 game. And in the fifth, RBC makes it a game. Vin Bianchi launches this lighter offering deep to right. This is an RBI triple to make it 8-2. Lighter exits through five, giving up 10 hits, three earned runs, and striking out 10. Sean Rapp comes on in relief in the seventh, and RBC wouldn't go away. Anthony Boriello with the squibber to second. The throw is wild. Two runs come in. It's now a 9-7 game. RBC brings the winning run to the plate, but Rapp is able to end the comeback bid with this strikeout. 9-7 is your final. Dill Barton improves to 5-1 on the season. Sean Rapp with a three-run bomb and a save on the hill. He talked about his long ball and the potent Green Wave lineup. Yeah, I mean, it was a good pitch. You know, it was a 1-1 count. Um, you know, he went last at bat. He went a breaking ball 1-1. So I was kind of, I was sitting fastball, but I was still, you know, ready for the curve when he threw it. And, uh, you know, I got to protect Anthony in the lineup. He can't be getting intentionally walked every at bat, right? So I got to do something eventually at some point. So, you know, overall, I just knew we were going to come out here and, you know, put up the runs that we did. And we got some great hitters in the lineup, and we're going to be, we're a dangerous team to face. In North Brunswick, I'm Rich Crampanis for JerseySportsZone.com.